moly. What a bossplex from Tim Bosby, and the straps come down. Yeah, but he's still favoring that, that ankle. Oh, now, now he's got the ankle lock on Roberts. Really ankle has lock. it locked in. Just in case, though. Distracting the referee. Not distracting, providing some necessary uh, recovery time. The boss had the victory here, just like before, but wait a oh, second. God. Big Lariat decapitates the boss, and that is it. Here wow. is your winner, and still, Memphis Wrestling Heritage Champion, the problem, Aaron Roberts. Hold on, wait, wait, one wait, second. Wait, 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 wait. Don't go anywhere. Aaron Roberts has tossed the boss to the floor. Says you tried to take the title from me. Uh-oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait! Into the God wall. Here at the Wrestle Center, Aaron Roberts, you've won the dang match. Now Aaron Roberts is measuring the oh, boss and just lays him out with the Memphis Heritage Championship. The show is over, Gun Show. I done told you, your old news, and anybody, including you, Brett, are gonna end up like Tim Bosby when they mess with the problem. Time to make the world recognize we ain't playing, yo. Off the top, smashing folk, hitting with the gun show. Everybody gon' flip. And that's off the rip. We are Memphis Wrestling, now you know who you messing with. Five Star, that's the name. Maria's here to change the game. M Dub on my chest, got me slamming all you lame. You ain't know you messing with the real dealer. From the super kicking, body slamming show stealer. Started out in the M Memphis, Tennessee. Watching wrestling every Saturday on TV. It's only the beginning. Now it's time to play. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Memphis Wrestling. The Wrestle Center is cram packed full of Memphis Wrestling maniacs. I am Dustin Starr alongside my broadcast tag team partners, Pete Pranica and Terrence Ward. And the stage is set for another huge day, gentlemen. This is going to be absolutely off the hook. I'm hearing all kinds of rumors about stuff going on behind the scenes. We're talking grudges, we're talking a lot of emotion running high, and it's gonna get settled in the ring. Of course you hear about the rumor mill, Pete. You're right in the middle of it, come on. Here we go, we saw last week at the end of our program, the boss, Tim Fosby, should potentially be the Memphis Heritage Champion. However, Justin Case's interference, what does that look like? It wasn't interference, it was strategic planning. You've Justin. gotta be kidding me. You know, Aaron Roberts says he's the problem. I think Justin Case is the bigger problem. Well, we're kicking the program off with somebody who's been a problem solver in the past, and it's the boss, Tim Bosby. And here he comes. Three-time Memphis Wrestling Internet Champion, and a man who came this close to capturing the Memphis Heritage title last week, the boss. I know exactly what you're here to talk about. Justin, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it short. Aaron Roberts, last week I made you tap out and that damn manager Justin Case got involved again. So I'm out here today to talk to one person. Matchmaker King Cobra, I would like for you to come out here. We have some things to discuss. Here we go, right off the top. Tim Bosby requesting the presence of the matchmaker, King Cobra. I know he's here, there he goes. King Cobra, Tim Bosby, after what happened last week, he's got something to talk to you about. Cobra, you saw what happened. They saw what happened. What I'm out here today to ask you, me or Aaron, one more time, but this time, just in case, it's barred from the building. Oh my goodness. If you want a one-on-one -on -one match, that might be what you have to do. Well, now, I saw what happened. 
everybody out here saw what happened. I'm the matchmaker. Now, I know the only way you're going to get a fair shot is just in case can't be nowhere around. I don't mean just bar from the ring. I can sign the match and bar him from the building. Okay? I think I speak for everybody when I say we would all love that. Okay, so next week it's going to be one on one. And Justin K will be barred from the building. There you have it. Next week's huge main event one on one for the Memphis Heritage Championship. Tim Busby versus Eddie Roberts with Justin Case barred from the building. Fans, more Memphis wrestling when we return. Stay with us. Contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Making his way to the ring from Game City, Tennessee, The Gun Show. Welcome to The Gun Show. When you talk about the Memphis Heritage Championship and everything going on with that, I just got word that in the locker room right now, Justin Case and Eric Roberts are destroying everything. They are mad as hell, because next week, Huge main event signed by King Cobra. Aaron Roberts defends the Memphis Heritage Championship against the Boz with Justin Case barred from the building. And there's your number one contender. The Gun Show's in action when we return. Memphis wrestling is hotter than ever. Join us live. Next Sunday, December 17th, boxing legend Butterbean is coming to Memphis Wrestling. Plus, we celebrate Milestone 200. Saturday, November 23rd, Memphis Wrestling returns to Ghost River Brewing Company on Main Street in Memphis. Tickets are as low as just $10. Plus, watch AEW Full Gear at Dave & Buster's in Memphis. Saturday, November 30th, don't miss Memphis Wrestling's Stars of Tomorrow featuring Wrestle Center coach Jonathan Gresham one-on-one -on -one against Tim Bosby. Sunday, December 8th, AJ Francis returns to Memphis Wrestling for the Grind City Rumble. All tickets are on sale now. Get yours right now at memphiswrestling.tv. message from the Sonic Department of Research and Deliciousment. We topped off the new Sonic Smasher you love with our creamy queso. With hand smash patties made to order, it's a cheesy love letter to your taste buds, and they're about to get real emotional. The new Double Sonic Queso Smasher, part of our Smasher lineup. It's time for the Ghost River Brewing Company Fan of the Week. Ghost River Brewing Company, our roots run deep. We aren't just here to see patients. We're here to help people walk out our doors, whether it's life-saving trauma care, advancing oncology treatment, or helping patients reclaim their independence. We're always here for you. Regional One Health, specializing in tomorrows. Welcome back to Memphis Wrestling. Our opening contest is in the ring. And before the break, we saw it set up for next week. Aaron Roberts versus the boss, Tim Bosby, for the Memphis Heritage Championship with Justin Case barred from the building. And you know that that man on the right side of your screen, the gun show, is more than interested in that conversation. You know what, Justin? That man has had plenty of opportunities and chances to win back the Which Heritage man? title. Which man? The gun show, obviously. It's who you're talking about because we know Seven hasn't had an opportunity. Well, but Aaron Roberts and Justin Case are rightfully upset because let's be honest here. Tim Bosby, who is he what? to ask for the stipulation of banning just in case? First of all, Pete, what in the hell I, is Seven I, Cruz doing here I'm drinking? Not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm also not sure what's happened to Terrence Ward. I have no he idea. He has totally gone off the rails. What? Defending the, just in case? 
defending just in case because he is the advocate for the problem, Aaron Roberts. He is the man who helped him get to that. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. That wasn't smart. He no. just spit whatever's in that cup. Is that a Stanley Cup, by the way? Spit it right in the gun show's face. Well, and you don't Seven tug Cruz, on... yeah. welcome to Memphis Wrestling. You don't tug on Superman's cape, and you don't spit into the wind, and you don't mess around with the gun show. Big spine buster from the gun show. And he's lining them up, capacity crowd chanting, boom. Thank you for coming by, Seven. Whatever Pick up you your do, participation trophy on the way out. Around. Gun show lariat. Fans are chanting one more time, but I don't know if Seven Cruz can handle one more time. Well, he signed up for this match. He bit off more than he could chew, obviously. Sits him up. Gun show lariat. Good God. Turns heaven. Seven Cruz inside out. And that is it. Here is your winner, The Gun Show. Let's take a look back real quick on Instant Replay, brought to you by Kapow Comics in Sherwood, Arkansas, 501-834-5769. And don't blink, The Gun Show Lariat's all it took. Now, it's time to hear from the number one contender himself. Congratulations on another dominant victory, Gun Show. And I know you heard just a few moments ago that there's a big championship match taking place next week and you are still the number one contender. That's right. Say it again, Dustin Star. The Gun Show is the number one contender for the Memphis Heritage Championship. In other words, he's saying it don't matter if it's Aaron Roberts or Tim Bosby. You have the gun show next. Get ready. Aaron Roberts. I'm coming for your ass. Ladies and gentlemen, the gun show's got next. More Memphis wrestling on the other side. Stay with us. All right. Can you do it? But then in the parking lot, as we saw when we returned, Geo Savage has been attacked in the parking lot, and I know the ambulance is on the way. Well, witnesses told us just moments ago before we came back to the air is that he might have been hit by a car? Are you kidding me? Welcome back to ringside, Dustin Starr, Pete Pranica, and Terrence Ward, and man, oh man. If you think the title picture in the Memphis Heritage Championship is something, what in the heck happened with Geo Savage? Well, we saw last week or week before, we saw Geo Savage getting presumably hit by a car. We saw Dan, members of security staff, out there assisting Geo until paramedics and fire rescue could arrive. We're still waiting for an update on Geo's condition, but I don't know. We, we, we just saw Draco coming into the building as well. Pete, and one can only assume who's behind all of this. Yeah, I mean, Draco and Geo have been at each other's throats, once a very cohesive tag team. They've gone their separate ways, it seems. Wait a second, Pete. Wait. Sorry to interrupt you, but speak of the is. devil. We saw him arrive earlier, and here he is. That's D-R-A-C-O, Draco. And he's not dressed to compete, so let me see what the hell he wants. That outfit looks oddly familiar. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the broadcast position. It's Draco, and Draco, after seeing Geo Savage laid out in the parking lot, and then you come in here with your leather jacket on and such as, one can only assume what happened to Geo Savage. You know, the phone has been ringing off the hook for the past several weeks, 
and the social media messages have been all the same. And they ask, why, Draco, why, why do you do Geo so? Well, I'll tell you why. And Geo, I know you're watching from whatever hospital bed you're in, but I gave you every chance to show how savage you were, and you failed me tremendously. See, I'm here to prove that I am what I say I am. I am the last dragon, and I'll prove that I am the last savage of the group, the only savage here in Memphis Wrestling. You can hear the capacity crowd here. They want no part of you, Draco. I don't care what the fans want. I'm here for what I want. And speaking of what I want, there's a self-made savage who's, what, what, what does he say? Loved by few, hated by many, oh my God. dared by none, but respected by all. Well, let me tell you something. Mike Anthony, I put my name down on the open contract for your internet wow. championship. And it's gonna happen today. And you know how it's gonna end. The dragon is gonna stand on top and he's gonna be your new Memphis Wrestling internet champion. And if you don't know, well now you know, you know, you know, and all these people here know that it's D R A C O. Ladies and gentlemen, according to Draco, there's a huge main event. The Memphis Wrestling Internet title's on the line today. Mike Anthony versus Draco, and I think we got all the answers we needed about Geo Savage. Fans, stay with us. We just gotta go hard. Uh. I go the hardest. Comics, comics, kapow comics! It's the place for comic books, retro games, classic memorabilia, and more. Kapow Comics, 501-834-5769. Sunday, November 17th, boxing legend Butterbean is coming to Memphis Wrestling. Plus, we'll celebrate Milestone 200. Be a part of history. Reserve your seat at memphiswrestling.tv. Saturday, November 23rd, Memphis Wrestling returns to Ghost River Brewing Company on Main Street in Memphis. Tickets are just $10 plus. VIP saves $1 off beer all night long. Get your tickets right now at memphiswrestling.tv. Welcome back to Memphis Wrestling. Welcome back to the broadcast position. Justin Starr, Pete Pranica, and Terrence Ward. And I guess we have our main event here today. And I also think that we got all the answers that we needed. It was Draco that was behind the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, that was obvious. I mean, circumstantial evidence, but that was a tag team that was starting to splinter. This main event is gonna be sensational. Really, two savages going one-on-one -on -one for the Memphis Wrestling Internet Championship. Well, I understand what Draco was trying to do in splitting his partnership with Geo and his lack of interest in their tag team partnership, but I think somebody blew his pilot light out if he's thinking he's gonna challenge Mike Anthony for that title that he just won and just cut back onto a winning streak. Mike Anthony has been hotter than ever as of late. You wanna talk about grudges. Memphis Wrestling is full of grudges. If you rewind back to our Halloween spooktacular, we had the Twins of Salem with the Righteous Path, and today, there's a rematch. Let's head to the ring. The following contest is a grudge match. Uh, Introducing first, these guys. accompanied by Reverend Ash Taylor. This is Morrow and Brother Bruce, the Righteous. Righteous path and action here today. We saw on the Halloween Spooktacular. Now I do want to say, typically the Halloween Spooktacular is a standalone event, right? A lot of the grudges don't carry through because it is a little bit silly, let's be honest. And introducing next, their opponents. It is Jackson Crowley and Abel Booker. 
The Twins of Salem. The Twins of Salem. Take a look at that duo. <laughs> Heading down the aisle way into the ring. Unique entrance for a couple of unique individuals, and I'm being nice when I say unique. These guys freak me out, Pete. Yeah, this is like Halloween part two. I don't know that you could put four more intimidating Memphis wrestling superstars in the ring at the same time. I think you hit the nail on the head with that one, Pete. Member is missing from ringside. And I mentioned earlier, huge main event next week. Aaron Roberts defends the Memphis Heritage Championship against Tim Bosby with Justin Case barred from the building. And these guys are still complaining in the backstage area. Also still to come today, the Hollywood click are here. Psycho Simon is here and you heard about our big main event, Mike Anthony defending the Memphis Wrestling Internet title against Draco. But right now, the twins of Salem are on fire. And yeah, Brother Bruce not sure which address he's living in. <laughs> That's the right word for it. Over the top to the apron. Elusive is the Twins of Salem. There, there was a hidden tag there if you didn't catch it. Abel Booker now the legal man for the Twins of Salem. A little bit of double team. Oh, what a bite. bite. All right then. Biting each of the hands, it appears, before Ooh. throwing a knee right to the jaw. And Brother Bruce has taken a tremendous amount of abuse. And now a cover. Two Beautiful. count. Fall. Fans, want to remind you real quick that we are live next Sunday here at the Wrestle Center featuring boxing legend Butterbean. Also, Milestone 200. Get those tickets right now. That's next Sunday, November 17th, MemphisWrestling.tv. Wait a minute, did you say Butterbean? Are you getting in the ring with him, Dustin? I'm going to have Butterbean come to the desk and potentially knock you out, You Terrence. do that, and I'm going to call I'm going to call King Cobra. Speaking of knocked out, Bruce. Oh, going for the knockout, but it's reversed. Wow. You cannot deny the Twins of Salem and their athleticism, no matter how creepy they are. Out to the ring, out on the floor. Oh. And the Morrow red, with a big right hand. Red hand of destruction. Morrow stopping the Twins of Salem. That's Abel Booker right in his tracks. Definitely a smart tactic there. You've got to slow those two guys down, those two creatures down, if you will. Abel Booker is in deep trouble. It's almost like it's two on one. He desperately needs to make the tag. And three, if you're counting the Reverend, he's always a wild card. And Morrow delivering a right hand. Wrong neck of the woods here, but there's a tag. Morrow and brother Bruce both in the ring now. Well, as Dustin said earlier, if you missed our Halloween Spooktacular. You can check that out on streaming services, including YouTube, Thriller TV. Take a look back to see where this little bit of contention started. Also love that Danhausen. Sue Young on the program? The undead bride. We hadn't seen her in years. Oh, watch out. Morrow. Not even sure Morrow's a oh, legal a man in the ring. Wait a minute. Reverend Ash Taylor on the apron here. Distracting senior official David. Oh, Wait a minute. Look at this. Oh, it's sister, sister Asa. Asa's here with, with a kendo stick. Kendo stick. Oh, come on. So, Wait a minute. You hear that? Yeah. What in the? Wait a minute. Look who oh. it is. Is that Barnabas? Barnabas is back. And he's grabbed the kendo stick from Sister Asa. The circus closed. Barnabas is back. Slides the kendo stick in. Oh, brother Bruce. It's not baseball season. Oh, God in heaven. But swinging that kendo stick like the Memphis Redbirds. And that is it. Here are your winners, the Twins of Salem. What an assist from Barnabas. Let's take a look back real quick on Instant Replay, brought to you by Memphis Wrestling Live next Sunday, November 17th. Join us. Butterbean will be here. Get your tickets at memphiswrestling.tv, and there are your winners, the Twins of Salem with Barnabas. Welcome back once again to the broadcast position. Dustin Starr, Pete Pranica, and Terrence Ward. Barnabas is back.
and aligning himself with the Twins of Salem, taking the kendo stick away from Sister Asa and ultimately helping determine the outcome of that match. Listen, I, 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 I get creeped out by the Twins of Salem anyways, but anything to see justice rightfully served against the righteous path, I think we're all in agreement there. That was definitely very defined to watch. Dan, we're going to rewind back just a couple of weeks ago when we had a major announcement here at the desk when Derek King came out unannounced, uninvited, and surprised us all by announcing his in-ring competition. His in-ring wrestling career is now over. If you missed it, take a look. But there comes a time when... Uh Life happens, and uh, I think this is the best time. Please don't go! Please don't go! Please don't go! Please don't go! I've done this for a long time. I've got to do everything. I have a 17-year-old son who I adore the, the most, and I think that it's just time for me to uh, step away from uh, actually wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it perhaps for the final time, Derek, by God, greater than great, Keys. Welcome back to Ringside. You saw it right there. Derek King is officially retiring from in-ring competition. Sad to see it. Tremendous competitor. Great superstar here in Memphis Championship Wrestling. But all good things must come to an end at some point. You know, Dustin, I know you and I share a little bit of history with Derek. You more than me, but I've known him for the better part of almost 20 years and have had the opportunity to work with Derek on many occasions in different capacities. And I got to say, you know, putting putting all the stuff aside that, that we may disagree with, it is definitely going to leave a big hole for us here at Memphis Wrestling. We want to hear more from Derek. We want to hear it right out of his very own mouth. So next week, starting... I'm going to sit down with Derek King and ask all the questions that the fans want to know. That's coming up next week. Fans, don't you dare go away when we return. It's Hollywood Jimmy's Laylock and the Hollywood Jimmy's. Oh, really? A message from the Sonic Department of Research and Deliciousment. We topped off the new Sonic Smasher you love with our creamy queso. With hand smash patties made to order, it's a cheesy love letter to your taste buds. And they're about to get real emotional. The new Double Sonic Queso Smasher, part of our Smasher lineup. It's time for the Ghost River Brewing Company Fan of the Week. Ghost River Brewing Company, our roots run deep. Our next free watch party at Dave & Buster's is AEW Full Gear. Join us Saturday, November 23rd. It's free to watch. That's Dave & Buster's Memphis. We aren't just here to see patients. We're here to help people walk out our doors, whether it's life-saving trauma care, advancing oncology treatment, or helping patients reclaim their independence. We're always here for you. Regional One Health, specializing in tomorrows. Welcome back to Memphis Wrestling, and joining me at this time, unfortunately, led by Secret Service, Hollywood Jimmy Blaylock, along with his Hollywood click. And Jimmy, if I could be serious for just a moment, I'm glad that you're doing okay. You know, Dustin, everybody goes through trials and tribulations, and you know, I went through a hard time. You know, I would stay in the hospital four days, and you know, I got ran off the road and hit a tree. And they said the driver had a spiked hair and beady eyes. Oh, come on, Jimmy. Where is you, October the 16th? Get out of here. You got those little beady eyes. For all I know, you were texting and driving. Somebody ran me off the road. I'm going to prove who did it. It might be somebody out here, or somebody out here, or maybe you. But you know what? It's not about me. I want to bring out somebody right now, right now, who I love, who I'm going to take to the top in Memphis Wrestling. Bring out Ray Collins right now. He wasn't here last week. Or the week before, allegedly was on set filming a movie, but here he comes. No way Ray is 
what the Memphis Wrestling fans call them. You know what, Ray, I just want to say to you, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, I think you got the most talent than anybody in Memphis Round. What? What are you doing? Wait just a second, Jimmy. It's, it's Jay Smooth. Hey, hey, just give, me, give me one more shot, Jimmy. Come on now. Come on, Jimmy. One more shot at this, man. Just one more shot. Hollywood clear. Come on. Come on, Jimmy. He's asking for one more shot. This is not a good time. Don't you know that? It's not a good time. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll give you one more shot if you can beat Ray Collins right now. If you can beat, yeah. What do you say? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Just watch, just, just to beat him? Come on, come on. I'll let you into the Hollywood clip. I'll let you in. The challenge has been made, ladies and gentlemen. Jay Smooth versus Ray Collins right here, right now? Right now. Ray Collins is taking off his street clothes right here, and he's gonna fight Jay Smooth. Ever, Jay Smooth looks like a kid in a candy store. He's so excited to get another opportunity. What this is all about is Jay Smooth has been trying to join the Hollywood clique what seems like months and months, and he's been shut down every time. But now Jimmy says, look, if you can beat Ray Collins, I'll let you in. If not, I never want to see you again. The worst relationships are where somebody's super needy. And right now, Jay Smooth is so super needy. And look at Ray Collins. He's in dress shoes in the ring and dress pants. And that shows the, the professional of Ray Collins. I mean, let's be honest here. Jimmy Blaylock, you guys may not like him very well, but he makes sure that his folks, the people he represents, are dressed in the appropriate manner what do you at mean, all times. What do you mean, Terrence? We may not like Hollywood Jimmy. The we was don't, involved, we he don't was like accident. him. He was involved in an accident. You can hear the bias out of both of you. No sympathy now, towards that. Now, real quick, man. real quick, let's say that Jimmy Blaylock was involved in a serious car accident, just like he said, but it wasn't me or one of the Memphis Wrestling fans that ran him off the road. Who knows what happened? I'm glad that Jimmy's here. And on the other side of this thing, that man right there, Ray Collins, has been on a winning streak. The reason that he joined with Jimmy is to win championship gold. Ray Collins and Jimmy Blaylock feel like they've got this one before it ever even started. And you can see Jay Smooth having a little bit of trouble with Ray Collins as he's going for that figure four. James oh, no. just about has it locked in. Looks like he's, he does have it locked in. Oh, look in. at Hollywood Jimmy Blaylock pulling on Ray Collins' oh, arm for more wait leverage. A second, looks like he was caught. Referee just caught Hollywood Jimmy Blaylock cheating. There's a shock. It's a strategic advantage, guys. Strategic it, advantage. It, it's called cheating, Terrence. Jimmy Blaylock arguing with the referee. Still, the figure four is still applied on Jay Smooth. Now, finally broken. Should be a disqualification, but that wouldn't do Jay Smooth any favors. Uh oh, Ray Collins, look out. Sunset flip. Oh, a three count. Is that two or was that three? Two or three, two or three. It's a three count. Referee says it was three. Jay Here Smooth. Is your winner by pinfall, Jay Smooth. Jay Smooth has just pinned Ray Collins. How is the referee going to hesitate and say it was a three knowing darn well it was a two count? And look at this, a big hug. Oh, and all the way Ray wants nothing to do with Jay Smooth. The, oh. The celebration is on. Look at Jay Smooth. Let's take a look back real quick. Oh, That's not. This oh, is better. Oh, I don't think Jimmy Laylock is happy about this as all, at all. Hugs for everybody. Jay Smooth is so excited. He is the newest member of the Hollywood Click. Is that a praise break? What was that? 
I don't think I have ever seen Hollywood Jimmy Blaylock so speechless. Let's take a look back real quick on the instant replay. Brought to you by Memphis Wrestling Live. Coming up next Sunday, November 17th. Butterbean boxing legend is here. Plus, we'll film Milestone 200. Get those tickets at memphiswrestling.tv and check this out. Hugs for everybody, including Secret Service. I've got the bell hammer. He better not hug me. Uh, I might dab him off. Fans, don't go away on the other side. Psycho Simon is here. Stay with us. Memphis Wrestling is hotter than ever. Join us live. Next Sunday, December 17th, boxing legend Butterbean is coming to Memphis Wrestling. Plus, we celebrate Milestone 200. Saturday, November 23rd, Memphis Wrestling returns to Ghost River Brewing Company on Main Street in Memphis. Tickets are as low as just $10. Plus, watch AEW Full Gear at Dave & Buster's in Memphis. Saturday, November 30th, don't miss Memphis Wrestling's Stars of Tomorrow featuring Wrestle Center coach Jonathan Gresham one-on-one -on -one against Tim Bosby. Sunday, December 8th, AJ Francis returns to Memphis Wrestling for the Grind City Rumble. All tickets are on sale now. Get yours right now at memphiswrestling.tv. Can't make it to the shows, but still want signed photos, posters, action figures, and more? Shop the official Memphis Wrestling eBay store at memphiswrestling.tv. The following is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, Psycho Simon. Psycho Simon. He's talking to you, Dustin. Is here. What's he saying? I don't want any part of that. A man who is res have him here this week. He said he told me. Who's supposed to be here? Now you take it easy out here, will ya? What is it that you're trying to say? I told you last week, you need to have your buddy here or else. I have no idea what you're talking about. Be more specific. I'm tired of being specific with you, little man. Your friend was supposed to be here. If he's not here, somebody's going to take his place. I don't know what the heck he's talking about, but it looks like he's looking for a fight. He says this is your fault, whoever it is. Where's he going? Now he's headed into the wrong dressing room. That can't be very good. This man has lost his mind. Big Dan. I have no idea what Psycho Simon is even talking about. Listen, I, I put it to you this way. I have no idea what. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my oh, gosh. Oh. He's got somebody by the shirt collar. I'll he put just it. pulled somebody from the locker room. Simon kind of giving you that, that double look there. Simon just wants somebody to beat up. Listen, I appreciate the fact that I think Simon is trying to send a clear message that he is calling out the weakness that is in that locker room. And let's be honest, it's gotten pretty shameful back there. Look at that face right there. And it appears that that is James Curtis, I believe, who is a trainee here at the Memphis Wrestling Wrestle Center might actually see him in action coming up at our <laughs> Stars not. of Tomorrow, which is a special Saturday, November 30th. Get your tickets at memphiswrestling.tv, but James Curtis might not make it I, there. I was just gonna say, he may be there on November the 30th if he survives this from Psycho Simon. There's no one more hardcore in Memphis Championship Wrestling than Psycho Simon. But he's got him fish hooked in the mouth. Is this even a match? Yelling at the fans. I don't see a referee in there at all. There There's, is no referee. I see in security. The ring anyway. Referee ringside as Psycho Simon just having his way. 
with James Curtis, and that's exactly who it is. Well, James is learning the hard way that this is exactly what you have to look oh forward to. Oh, my God. 300-pound elbow drop. And he's not done yet. He usually finishes off his opponents. He is trying to send a message to somebody that's my friend. And help you have me, lots of friends. Help me think here, guys. What the heck? Psycho Simon just slinging James around the ring. Senior official David Knight now at ringside as well. This match didn't officially start. I mean, I don't. It's definitely it not a match. A, not a match on my off. format. Right. Well, but I'm just saying, assuming because the referee was out here, that there was a potential for one. Big slam. This is a fight, though. A one-way fight. Says you better bring him here. And he's talking to you, Dustin. I don't have anything to do with any of this. Psycho Simon just came out of the locker room, went to the other locker room. He was looking for a fight. And he pulled James Curtis out of the locker room. Well, you got to be prepared at all times. Psycho Simon still yelling now at senior official David Knight and our lead security man, Big Dan, saying, get him out here. You know who I'm talking about. Meanwhile, we have no idea to whom Psycho Simon is referring. Watch out. Another big 300-plus pound no. elbow drop. Does he want the ref to count? Just count so he'll get the hell out of here. Psycho Simon standing atop one of our trainees and stars of tomorrow, James Curtis. David Knight confronting Simon. And he better back away. Don't you do it. Hey, I'm telling you. Break your neck. It's going to be on you. Wow. I, I can repeat some of those words. I think Psycho Simon is. I think Psycho Simon is hearing voices. Welcome back to the broadcast position, Dustin, Pete, and Terrence. And I'm sure we've got somewhere that we can go. Standing by are the Memphis Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Too cool, too. Check it out. Zaya Wolf here and standing by have the tag team champions Too Cool 2. Guys, the fans and I want to know what's going on with you. Well, you know, all we've been doing since we got these tag titles is defending our belts. We've defended them, you know, numerous times, not to mention that all the times we've been in the ring with legends. And then we have the LA Hustlers wanting to talk about we're dodging them. The buddy system. Well, frankly, hustlers, it's just not your turn. And you want to talk about the streets? How you're running the streets? Well, we built the streets. That's it, baby. We stand on business, and we're going to stand on it on the L.A. hustlers and whoever else comes after these belts. And that is the business, dog. <laughs> we just got to go hard. Uh, I go the hardest. Sunday, November 17th, boxing legend Butterbean is coming to Memphis Wrestling. Plus, we'll celebrate Milestone 200. Be a part of history. Reserve your seat at MemphisWrestling.tv. Our next free watch party at Dave & Buster's is AEW Full Gear. Join us Saturday, November 23rd. It's free to watch. That's Dave & Buster's Memphis. Saturday, November 23rd, Memphis Wrestling returns to Ghost River Brewing Company on Main Street in Memphis. 
Tickets are just $10 plus. VIP saves $1 off beer all night long. Get your tickets right now at MemphisWrestling.tv. Welcome back to Memphis Wrestling. It is main event time with the Memphis Wrestling Internet Championship on the line. And you can see Draco, the last dragon, pointing to his waist that today he's going home with championship gold. Dustin Starr, Pete Granica, we saw at the top of the program. Draco's doing nothing but falls in trouble. And Geo Savage has been the recipient of the hatred and the vitriol from Draco. And Draco coming out here and demanding a match for the internet belt against Mike Anthony. Savage versus Savage. Here comes the champ. The genetic nightmare. The self-made Savage. A man who went on an unbelievable losing streak for nearly a year before finally breaking that streak, winning the internet championship, and now he is on fire. And he doesn't back down from any challenge, and today is no different. Capacity crowd chanting Mike as it's time to head down to the ring for our official championship introductions with Terrence Wall. The following contest is our televised main event with TV time remaining. And it is for the Memphis Wrestling Internet Championship. Oh, yeah. Introducing first, the challenger from Memphis, Tennessee. He is the last dragon, Draco. Draco's looking good in there, despite his terrible attitude. And introducing next, his opponent from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 212 pounds. He is the genetic nightmare and the reigning, defending Memphis Wrestling Internet Champion, Mike Anthony. Former Cobra Cup winner. Former Memphis Trios winner, former Memphis Heritage Champion, and now the Memphis Wrestling Internet Champion, Mike Anthony, defending his title here today. And there's what it's all about. Senior official David Knight hoisting up the internet title. Dustin Starr, Pete Pranikin joining us back here at the broadcast position, Terrence Ward. Bell rings and we are underway. Main Ooh. event time. Oh, with Draco coming in with a couple of forearms and now an uppercut to the champ. Coming in hot. That's the best way to do it. I mean, Mike Anthony is one tough cookie. He is not somebody you're going to be able to just get a quick win over. A couple of weeks back, Draco went one on one Ooh. with Jonathan mm. Gresham. Oh, ho. I think he chopped his nipple off. Really? Jonathan Gresham and Draco, go check that out. YouTube.com. Oh, got it. Got it. Slash Memphis Wrestling. Oh, they heard heck, that one in Birmingham. Yeah. Heck of a contest it was. So Draco has been on a roll. Oh. All right, there's no nipples left. That's it. You kiss I, Maria with that mouth? If I'm, of course I do when she lets me. If I'm Draco, I'm getting out of Dodge right now. Ooh, I don't, I don't blame him. The genetic nightmare, the self-made savage. Mike Anthony posted up in the corner now. And he's wasting time is what he's doing. Clobbering with his left hands. Listen to the crowd. Capacity crowd, 100%. Behind oh. Mike Anthony, but nice counter from Draco. Mike might be out. I know that turnbuckle mm. has a padding on it, but underneath it is nothing but steel. Now a blatant choke. 
He's got to the count of five before he's disqualified, and Draco does not want to be disqualified today. Well, to your point, Dustin, he has until five, and he's using every bit of that advantage to wear down Mike Anthony. Because let me tell you something. You know this, and you know this, Pete. It is going to take every trick in the book to rob Mike Anthony of not only the title, but a victory here today. Oh, my. Slingshotted into the bottom rope. Neck first. Here's a cover. Near fall, that's a two count. Almost crowned a new internet champion. Draco right now is in control. Draco can smell the championship. Body slam. Blood is in the water for sure. And Draco, second rope. Elbow pad comes off. Nobody home. No pool God. in the water. Draco lands elbow first in the Munford Pharmacy logo. we will need a script now. Mike Anthony desperately needs to make it to his feet. Crowd chanting Mike. Big but shot from Draco. Folks, don't forget, we are running low on television time. If this match extends beyond our allotted TV time, you can watch it in full at Memphis Wrestling on YouTube as well as streaming services where available. Draco continuing this assault, but wait a minute, Mike Anthony now fighting back. Back and forth. Series of left hands. Mike, Big right hand. Mike Anthony with the left and the right. Ooh, God, that went right to the temple. Now Mike smelling blood in the water. Big slam from Mike Anthony. Energized by the crowd, Mike Anthony says this is gonna be it. Genetic dream. Wait a minute, there's the counter. Reversed oh. into a big kick from Draco. The educated feat. Draco says it's over. Time Wait a minute. What Hold the on. Hell? One second. Oh. What is he doing here? We did not expect to see Geo Savage out here. He's supposed to be in the hospital. Looks like he was in the hospital. He's got a boot on his foot, sling on his arm, and a crutch. Now Mike Anthony's in control. Yeah, all thanks to Geo Savage out Draco here. Draco was like he saw a ghost. Genetic dream from the top rope. Here's the cover. That is it. Mike retains. Here is your winner and still Memphis Wrestling Internet Champion, Mike Anthony. Fans, we're all out of time. Mike Anthony retains the title, but not to bury the lead. Geo Savage is here, and he was looking for Draco. As I am Dustin Starr for Pete Pranica and Terrence Ward, saying so long, everybody.